Oh, that was a rough time. Is it really that hard to get takeout Chinese food at this hour? Well, then again, <laughs> who am I to judge because I'm doing it too? Hmm. Where is he? Babe? Hey, babe. Hmm. What? Where is he? The lights are all off. That's the first thing that got me off guard. But where is he? He's usually at the couch. Um, maybe he's in his gaming room or something. Shoot. Um, babe, you in there? Hello? No, he is not in there. Uh, this is getting a bit worrisome. Mm, he has to be in his room. Our room. Let's see. Let's see. Is he in here? Oh, our bedroom door is already open. <laughs> I guess it would be a smarter choice if I just went in there first. Um, uh, babe, are you in? Yeah, he is in here. <sighs> sleeping. What is he doing sleeping? Um, hey. Hey, hey, wake up. <laughs> there you are, sleepyhead. I wasn't expecting you to be sleeping now. <laughs> Not saying that you sleeping a bit earlier than usual is bad, because <laughs> perhaps it can be a good thing. Well, it is a good thing that you're sleeping earlier than usual. But it's unusual how you're sleeping early. Did you have a rest, uh, rough day at work? A little? Hmm. Let's see. Well, perhaps... Perhaps I did bring Chinese food, take out Chinese food, and I was wondering, since you always love eating at that place, so same as I, of course, um, do you want to eat it with me? You can, we can eat in this room if you want to. What do you mean, no? It's going to get cold. I mean, you're, you're right, some takeout Chinese food somehow tastes better, or still tastes good, even if it's micro, uh, microwaved again, but it still doesn't beat, uh, it still doesn't beat it freshly cooked or something. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No need to lash out at me. <laughs> yeah, something is really the matter. I didn't want to mention it, but... Uh, you're not even looking at me right now. You're still kind of turned away, and uh, your head is kind of buried in a pillow right now. So, perhaps you can just turn around, maybe? Why not? You don't feel like it. <laughs> Well, even if you don't feel like it, I'm still concerned about you, and although I'm not your parent and all, I still want to know what's wrong with you. What what happened at work? Here, at least turn around, please. I want to see that face. If it makes you feel better, I already know you're crying under there. You can just turn around. It makes it worse that you're hiding it from me. There you are. Still hurts to see you cry, but I have to know what's wrong. What happened at work? I know you don't want to talk about it, but... Mm -hmm. Okay, well... Uh, while walking in the house, uh, I did notice um, y you brought your lunch home with you, and it's not even finished. And knowing you, I, I cooked you your favorite food for your lunch at work, and it's very, very concerning that you're not, that you didn't even eat it, not even one bite. You weren't hungry? I mean, it could be one of those times where you're not hungry, but still, um, skipping a meal for a day. Skipping one meal a day is still not good. 
I mean, I had a problem with skipping breakfast. I still kind of do, but... This isn't about me. I'm trying to help. <laughs> I really am. Uh, a person who also skips uh, a meal of the day or well, telling a person that they shouldn't. But hey, at least I'm trying. Anyway. What did I tell you about doing that? Yeah, and obviously something happened where you had to skip, not had to, but what made you skip lunch. I can presume what happened, but I I just want to hear it from you. And I know you. You want to let it out, but you just keep on hiding it behind some wall, and although it's not annoying, it is kind of frustrating because I really want to know and I truly do want to help you. I know that some other people that you may have met or spoke to may seem like they don't care, and I really don't want to say this, but I'm different. <laughs> oh, don't ever say that again. But really, though, I do care about you. Hey, hey, hey. Here. Put your head on my shoulder. You can just let out your tears now. You can tell me in a moment. Just let them out. Okay? Just let them out. There you go. Mm, you're all right. You're fine with me now. There you go. Such a good boy. You know how much I love and care about you, right? Yeah, so do you feel better enough to at least say something about it? A little? Well... It's better than nothing. All right. <clears throat> Spell it. What happened? Mm, a co-worker. Yeah, I guess they made some comments about your uh, stature, your weight. But to me, you look fine. You're not morbidly obese, but... You're not morbidly skinny either, anorexic-like. So, you're in the perfect range. Ah, listen. Why do you... I want to know why. Why do you value their opinions? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah... It's ten it tends to be a back of the mind unconscious type of thing. You say that you don't value their opinions, but in the back of their uh, your mind it does matter to some extent. Look. I hope you know I'm not happy that you skipped lunch, right? No, no, no. Don't apologize. The time for apologies is later, not now. Right now is time to get to uh, get you settled down and just recollect yourself. Understand? Okay. Now I will say this once, well, and many times. So never mind. I lied. I'll say this many times. You are not morbidly obese. You are not anorexic-like. You are fine. The doctors say that you're fine. They don't say you have to lose weight, nor do you, did they have to say you have to gain weight right now. So you're fine. And, babe, if you ever want any more reassurance, you don't have to wait for me to give it to you. You can just ask me for reassurance, and I'll try my best to not be awkward about it, but I'll still give you the reassurance that you want and need, alright? Good. Now, it's time to talk about that skipped lunch. I know, I'm not going to get over it, because I put so much love into that, and it's not even eaten. Not one bite. Is this just, is this the first time you did this today, uh, of this week? No. I thought so. I was wondering why your lunch boxes, uh, the food that, <laughs> the food container is not in the dishwasher, nor the sink. So you've been hiding it from me, have you? Haven't you? 
Yeah, I thought so. I, you know, I don't, <laughs> goodness, you are really something. <laughs> but just, if you want me to tell them something, if you want me to tell them off, if you want me to talk to your boss, I will do it, okay? Just don't skip a meal of the day again, all right? Don't do that again, because for one thing, it's not healthy. I would know because I kept on skipping breakfast. So, don't skip a meal of a day, and I hope, I hope to goodness you've been drinking water at least. Ah, uh, good. Because if you have, I would be surprised that you did not pass out today. Now, do you understand me? Can you repeat what I said? About the lunch, not, not the water. <laughs> it seems like you already have that down. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, no skipping lunch or any of the meal, any of, ugh, any meal of the day. There we go. All right, so I know I'm going to have to remind you many times, but hey, I don't mind it. Now, are you ready to eat? I don't want it to get cold. Sweet. All right. Um, Do you want to eat in the bed or, well, eat in the room or do you just want to eat at the kitchen? The room? All right. I feel like room meals just feel more special to some extent. <laughs> now, anyway, let me just go get the silverware and we'll start eating. I'll be back. Mwah. I love you. So that was the end of that audio. And once again, I kind of did struggle with it because I'm not used to comforting people, nor am I used to comforting people without a script. Ha <laughs> But hopefully I did well, and hopefully that y'all liked it. Like liked it. There we go. I think I said the first said it the first time wrong. Whatever. But speaking of liking things, if you like this audio and want to see sim uh, similar audios to it or audios in general from me, please do like, subscribe, and share this audio because my channel is not really growing that fast, and I really want it to grow bigger. That sounds so... Mm, mm, mm. And I, I just want my channel to grow. <laughs> now, with that being said, thank you all for listening, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, it's not stopping. Oh, screw it, I'll keep that.